Now we're getting ready to film and Jared's giving us pep talks. I mean, if you need a hike, man, here I am. <laughs> Alright? You have got this. <laughs> Nudge me out of the way. <laughs> Y'all, Lily is not leaving the set. <laughs> I want to be a part of the girl time too. <laughs> Are you gonna join us, Lily, or what, what are you doing? You didn't. You didn't bring your makeup. Yeah, where are your favorites? Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life a Runway, and I'm here with my girl Danny. Hey. If you guys have been on my channel for a long time, then you guys remember when Danny launched her channel. She's um. She's taking a pause. Long pause. A long pause. <laughs> uh, but we'll talk about it. We're also going to talk about our favorites. We have five each, and we'll just alternate talking about them. So if that sounds like something you'd like to watch, then just keep watching. Here I'm we go. So Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So if you're new here, I'm Abby. This is a channel mostly about makeup, but I get kind of crazy and throw other stuff on. It's all good, but this is my best friend Danny since high school. Woo! We don't live close to each other, but we don't live far. It's like what two hours? Yeah. So we're gonna need you to keep it down. There's a baby. He's baby on board. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know that. <laughs> so we're about two hours away from each other. And so we try to see each other as often as possible, but if you remember, if you've been here for a while, Danny did launch her channel for makeup, but then she became a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I moved. Well, there was and that. And moved again, and yeah, and then became a mom, and there's no time yet. <laughs> yeah, her daughter's one, so still a very involved age. <laughs> We are drinking wine, so cheers. If you drink, if you don't drink wine, just cheers. Water, yeah, tea, anything. coffee, juice, <laughs> whatever you have. Lacroix, lacroix. Okay, guys, if there's like weird cuts, it's because um, mom duties call. It's 9 p.m. at night, so like we should be okay, but you never know. Um, Lily's a little close. Okay, so we met in high school at a slumber party of, I don't even remember her name. Dawn? Was it Dawn? Sorry, I think. I don't know. Dawn, I rode the bus with her and she's like, I'm having a slumber party. She lived right down the street. So I went and then Danny was there and then we hit it off. We're like, do you want to hang out? <laughs> and then, you know, we, we don't do the math the anymore, but the rest is history. <laughs> All right, so we have five favorites, so do you want to go with the first one? Sure. So my first is Urban Decay Eyeliner in Sabbath. Um, I just really like their products in general, but I like this color a lot because it's like a mix between blue and black. Mm. And I don't know. I just like the way it looks on, and they stay well, and that's pretty much that. <laughs> Can I swatch it for them? Yeah. All right, so this is what, it's like a, blue gray you said blue blue black or blue, blue black. gray i don't know it's 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 a oh, unique it needs to be color sharpened, but... like oh of course <laughs> so do you wear this mostly on your top liner or, bo or bottom i do both okay yeah and it, does it kind of give like a smudged like look it does a little bit and i mean you can you know definitely do that too oh that's pretty oh i love that <laughs> Yeah. And I've like never heard of that color either, Sabbath. Yeah. That's awesome. I like it a lot. I have a, I guess, stick thing. This is Elf Wow Brow. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. Have you heard of this? I don't think so. It's a brow gel, but it's very similar to the Benefit Gimme Brow because it has, like, fibers in it. Okay. Um, So it can actually, like, fill in your brows a little bit. This one is in... What is it? Taupe? I always go with taupe because it's more like, I don't know. It usually matches, I feel like. Our, Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, I guess, too. more fair skin tones. But this is like $4. Yeah. So, yes, please. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I feel like I have something like that, but I don't know. I don't know if it's Elf or just something similar, you know, another brand, but. Mm-hmm. It's nice. I mean, the price point, and Elf just launched a bunch of stuff. I haven't really looked into it because then I'd buy it, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, so my next one is this Ipkin, I guess, or I-P-K-N, Soul um, New York. It's Radiant Cream Primer. It has SPF in it. Um, oh. I got, so I did like Birchbox a couple times like years ago and this had a little sample in it and when I finally tried it I was like oh my god this stuff is amazing. I haven't actually used it as a primer though. I don't know if the sample like didn't say primer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if oh, that'll show. Oh there you go. Yeah. yeah I see that glow. It is so glowy. I love it especially for my forehead because I have like really deep frown lines or expression lines or whatever <laughs> so i just feel like when i have it on light just like <laughs> so do you wear it like a moisturizer no i just kind of did it like today i had it on um and i just did it over like once i had all my foundation and everything on just kind of oh like a in. liquid like, highlighter yeah, type thing kind of yeah <laughs> that's awesome so but yeah it's i love it and so yeah i got that that full tube. I don't know. I feel like it's like maybe 20 something at Ulta. Okay. But oh, it is at Ulta? Yeah. You know, anything that says like illuminating, glowy, or hydrating, I'm like, how much you need? <laughs> how much you need? I'm here. I got it. Right. Speaking of, we'll just go right into this. This is Huda. Huda, I think is how you say it. Um, this is the Glowish. So this is a whole line. Ooh, ooh, focus. I know it wants to focus on me. Like, okay, thank you. But uh, they came out with a whole line that's like this glow, glow-ish. Mm -hmm. But this is the powder in mine. It's a luminous pressed powder and fair light. And I would say it is a true pressed powder in the sense that if you try to wear it like a powder foundation, like the coverage is in there. But if you wear it like it like it says, like to set a um foundation or when you're like completely finished with your makeup, then I think it does deliver the glow that it says it delivers. They also have like a bronzer, a skin tint, uh blushes in this line. And after trying this, I'm like <laughs> but everything's like at least $35 or more, so you have to definitely wait for like a sale somewhere. But this is good. This is really good. I think I have some drugstore equivalents. I wouldn't say dupes, but um, I still think this is worth the money. Nice. <laughs> I've never tried anything by Huda yet. I want to try. I saw she's like relaunching her lip liquid lips, oh, really? I think, which, you know, I'm all about those. So, mm -hmm. um, so I think I'd like to try it out, but... I bet they're good. I know some of her palette, her eyeshadow palettes are really pretty, but I've never tried any of them. I just got, did you see I got the one in here? Um, I know she's launched some newer ones, but this is the Mercury Retrograde. Yeah. That like, so pretty. the packaging alone is so pretty, but then the actual colors, they're like, right. those are kind of your colors. Yes. Because Danny tends to like the pastel, but mostly purple colors, and she likes the shimmers. And glitter, yeah. And glitter. Because <laughs> you have the Urban Decay, the purple palette. The ultraviolet. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, and but yeah, I'm going to have to try some of hers sometime. They're, again, expensive full price. I think this is $69 full price, but you got, you got wheel oh, yeah. and deal when they got those sales <laughs> going on. I have to do some sales. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I mentioned liquid lips, so I don't, I don't think I could pick like a favorite lip product. I really like lipstick, so I have a whole bunch. I have, um, the NYX liquid suede's. Um, I have a bunch of these shades of theirs. I actually have the whole like mini vault mm -hmm. that came out with the minis of all the colors. I got that for Christmas a few years ago. So I have all of those and then I've got several of the the full. And this one is shimmery or it's metallic matte. Um, I like it. I don't know. I guess I can. What's the name on it? Um, this one is Modern Maven. Ooh. Yeah. Danny's the first person that told me about these, and I haven't purchased any of my own, but I've used some of hers. We have a picture from a couple of years ago where we have them. I don't know if you can see oh, it. It's kind of... Oh, that's pretty. Kind of berry or red yeah. combination between the two. It's I've more got. wearable than the two books. Right. Yeah. And then I um, grabbed this one, too, the Powder Puff Lippy, which these I have I don't have as much experience with. Um, I used it for the first time not long ago, but I like... The, Ooh, I love those colors. Yeah. Like those um, cool tone purple colors. Yeah, me too. This one's Detention. 
Uh, so what is that, like a matte finish? Yeah. It's matte, but it's kind of, I feel like a little more blurred, that mm -hmm. blurred look, so. That's pretty. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I always say on my channel, because it's such like a, especially the mask now, it's hard to wear ma uh, lips products, and I'm always like, oh, I don't, I don't need lip heart products, I don't wear that much, but then I see them, and I'm like, well, let's just add another. Right? I have one, I don't. Is it over here? Yes. It's similar to that color, but a different tone. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And this particular color is in Philosopher. I don't think Ulta has it, but I know like CVS has it. But it's like a similar. Like yeah. Ugh. And it's, it doesn't look super wearable, like even swatched. But when it's on, I just think it's beautiful. Um, I haven't tried those yet, but I know you, like, I've seen from you and I've heard other people talk about how well they stay, so I definitely yes. want to try it sometime. I have a few, and they're definitely, I think they're a product that people love or hate. Like, I don't think people are like, oh, I kind of liked it. I think it's like one extreme or another, so just buy one. Okay. <laughs> and see where you are in the spectrum before you right. get multiple, because they are affordable. And then there's always like sales and stuff, so it's easy to be like, well, let me just grab a few, but you gotta know if that formula, if you like it or not. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I actually didn't pull any lip products, but this product is newer to me, um, but it was gifted to me, and it's kind of funny because this is one at CVS or Ulta. I'm always like, I want that. I want that. And then it was gifted to me, so I used it, and it's like, it's just as good as I thought. But it's Makeup Revolution, and this is a highlighter. It's Dare to Divulge. It's a highlighter reloaded, and it's kind of weird because it looks like it would be like one of those like ones like ColourPop where you can press, but it's a full powder through and through. Like you can <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> But it is blinding, so I guess you kind of have to like blinding highlights oh, yeah. nice. for to like it. But like, hello, hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is one where people are like, I like your highlight, and it's like, yeah, it's obvious. It's well, the one I'm wearing today is kind of obvious as well. It's um, Natasha Denona, the Super Glow. Um, this one is just, I guess, Super Glow and Fair. Similar tone to what I just showed you guys. Um, oh, Morty just entered the chat. Maybe it's a little bit softer, actually. But they are, oh shoot, do we have like, a, do those look the same? It's pretty close. Pretty I feel close. like this one is a little brighter, but brighter. Yeah. So maybe, yeah. So this is Natasha Denona, and then this is the Makeup Revolution. So um, this one has a little more oomph to it. But uh, same tone, which I own probably 20 highlighters <laughs> in that tone. It's really pretty though. I like the Revolution brand. I don't, I've got a few things by them, not a whole lot, but. Oh my gosh, their line is a lot to keep up with though. Because they have all those like sister lines or sub lines or sub sister <laughs> brands. I don't know. Something. Something. <laughs> there's, there's just a lot of them. Okay, so that just reminded me that one of mine that I picked was a highlighter and I knew when I was pulling my stuff out I was like wait didn't I have something different so let me be all right we just took a break she had to grab the highlighters and Morty had to go outside our husbands are they're right in this room because you guys know my this room is like small house so they're in there probably listening no they're watching Harry Potter so they're probably not listening <laughs> all right would you go grab okay um, so this is the Too Faced Diamond Light, which I know is like old school or old news or whatever, but... You wore this on your wedding, right? I did. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This one is... Because I think they have two different shades in it, technically. What is this one? I don't know. I thought there was one that's kind of more, like, peachy toned, but I don't see a shade. Yeah, it doesn't say. Yeah. I don't know. This is this one? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, rainbowy diamond, whatever. I don't know, but I love it. I, it's so, oh, to me, it's just like, it's just the best, which I do have some on today. It, you really don't oh, need yeah. a lot even. Yeah. You, it was just like a little bit yeah. that you put on there. 
so pretty. I just love it. <laughs> that is awesome. So do you wear that one like every time you wear makeup or is it like a special no, occasion? I feel like it's more like special occasion, but I've had it for, you know, a few years now because my wedding was 2018 and there's still, you know, yeah, basically all of it. So I really should just start wearing it more. <laughs> So I always tell you guys that most of my friends don't wear makeup. Danny's probably my only friend who likes makeup as much as I do. <laughs> so we're always like talking about it or trying each other's out or like I gave her some of the decluttered. She went through and picked out what she wanted. But all my other friends are more like, I don't wear it and you do. So here you go. <laughs> what about Lindsay though? Isn't she the one that was just on? Yes. Yeah, she really likes it too, doesn't she? She does. She's more of a... um like a one product at a time person gotcha. so she knows a lot about it and she wears it daily but she doesn't have the collection that like we have okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that oh that philosophy two-in-one that she gave me in that video during vlogmas top notch top notch one step it's all off it's like amazing <laughs> i'm gonna have to try it <laughs> yes you can try it tonight if you want <laughs> Okay, this I'm wearing today. This is like a bougie. It was given to me by my friend and I don't know. I feel like I would down the road repurchase it, but this is the Dior Forever foundation and this particular one is in 010. And what I like about this is it's kind of like a runny formula. Uh it's full. It's like a high medium coverage. I wouldn't say like full full coverage. But no matter like what you sit on top of it, it just looks flawless. Like you can wear this, put a bunch of like more affordable products on top and it's just like, it's perfect. It looks really great. Thank you. <laughs> and it's very similar, honestly, to my um, L'Oreal Pro Glow. Maybe not, this probably has more coverage than this, but like the liquid, liquidiness. <laughs> <laughs> and the way it just like melts into the skin is just is perfect um I don't know how much is left in here because like this doesn't come off and you can't see through it so it's just gonna be one day I'm just gonna be sad I'll be sitting there pumping I'm like halfway up yeah like, no. <laughs> it's gone I'm technically kind of cheating going over six that's now, okay since I forgot about the highlighter I shouted out two extra so you're good you're good <laughs> um this is the Becca under eye brightening correction and this one's in light to medium and this I just found out about this stuff what I don't know maybe a, maybe a little over a year ago that I got it um but it's just and they're discontinuing Smashbox it or picked it, it up oh sweet good to know mm -hmm. yeah but i have this on today um but if i don't know if swatching it will really show anything but it just it's really good you know for un, like if you've got the dark spots under your eyes it just the light again kind of like the ipkin stuff just i feel like bounces right off so i yeah. i really like that stuff how do you wear yours do you wear like just bare skin you'll tap it on or do you put it over foundation i've done it both um like today i did it over my foundation but i've okay. done it before even if i am just doing light makeup like you know just eyeliner and whatever not doing foundation and stuff i've still tapped some in so do you ever like put concealer over it or just wear that by itself i don't think i've put concealer over it um i've I probably would just, if I did though, because I was, I was looking, I didn't have concealer on hand nearby today when I was doing my makeup, mm -hmm. um, but I probably still would put that on last. Last, okay. So. Because I have had that before and products before. I panned that a while ago, and my biggest struggle was figuring out, like, my rhythm with it. Like, do I replace concealer with it, or do I wear it under concealer, or do I mix them together? I honestly don't remember what I ended up doing because it was a while back, but I do remember really liking it. Yeah. So, I don't know solid. what the technical protocol is for I don't think whatever, there but... is one. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> right. <laughs> do you. Do you, yeah. My last product is um, Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And I didn't buy this too long ago, and I'm already halfway through. Granted, it's not a huge bottle. It's 2.03 fluid ounces. But I saw my bae Walmart has the huge bottle. Have you seen the huge bottle? I have not. I don't know how big it actually is, but it's maybe at least double this. 
Um, I think this is amazing from the drugstore. My other favorite drugstore one is the Wet n Wild setting sprays, mm -hmm. like the primer in one or whatever, three in one, whatever they call it. Um, but this is so good. I wore it today, not that you can really tell that I have the setting spray on, but the mist, it's like, it's beautiful. It melts nicely. And this is one that when I do use it up, I'll just go get that big one from my bae Walmart. They'll, he'll be holding it for me. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> don't, don't disappoint. You never know. Right. Don't disappoint Walmart. Come on now. I always say shopping at Walmart is like shopping at a thrift store in the sense you don't know what you're going to find. Like, it, granted, it's not used like a thrift store, but, like, not every Walmart is the same, but even your go-to Walmart might not stock something again, and you just don't know. Yep. And some, like, I love Pioneer Woman. Some won't carry, like, their sheets and blankets, but they'll carry, like, some of their dishes. You got to know. It's crazy You got to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they stock it or what, what they do, but you got to... Same with Costco. You gotta stay on your toes. Yep. <laughs> Morty has entered the chat pretty calmly. He's a loud mouth. Danny's uh, daughter laughs at Morty's barking, and I told told them that's probably the only person who's laughed and enjoyed it. <laughs> Everyone else is like, why? What do you need? <laughs> I'll never forget the night before your, your first wedding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> when we were up super late anyway, like finalizing mm -hmm. the flowers and stuff, I think. And then he would not stop. We were in a barking. hotel, right? No, I think it was an apartment. Because I'm pretty sure it was. An, I don't we? know whose. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> that was over 10 years it was ago. Your old, I think it was your old one. Because I okay. remember it was like near downtown and he kept barking because like the windows were open and people walking by and just noise. I don't know, but all night long. <laughs> yeah, that's been my decade with him. My decade plus with him. <laughs> no? Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. JK. JK. Ooh. Okay. This is the Valentino. I got this from... Influence. Yes, girl. A box with this and eyeliner and a little shadow palette. And this is the Brow Trio. And this is in That's tote. brow? Yes. Dang, I thought that was a lip liner. This is brow. So there's the brush. Okay. And in the middle is the pencil. I wasn't expecting that. And then the liquid. What? It's amazing. Like, I, I I don't know if anything like this existed already, but I was like, what? All three in <laughs> one? This is freaking awesome. That's yeah. amazing. So, I really like it, and this is what I have on today. I didn't use the liquid or mm -hmm. whatever today, but... That's yeah. awesome. Or pen, I guess. Yeah. Not liquid, but yeah. <laughs> so, how's the eyeshadow palette that came with that? It's cute. It's my The colors are not, like, my favorite, but it's cool because I should have grabbed it just to show, but it's, um... It's like a little stack. I don't know. You open the lid and then it's got the one. It's four um, okay. colors. Mm -hmm. and it's got a brush with it, I think. And then you, you pop it and then it's got darker. So it's like a day to night kind oh, of. Oh, like, interesting. The daytime is lighter, kind of more neutral. And then the, the nighttime or whatever is like darker shades. So it's cool, cool though. Yeah. I wore it once. It's got like good shimmer. I feel like it stayed pretty well and everything. Mm -hmm. So... Those high-end brands are interesting. I saw, um, do you follow Kelly Schrack? Mm -mm. She uh, is 100% makeup, and then she has a vlog channel. But she gets sent, like, all the PR, and she showed um, YSL has a lipstick printer. So you pick what cartilages you want in it, and you put it in the bottom. And then there's, like, an app on the phone that you, like, it has, like, a color wheel what? where you um, can pick what color you want. And it will show you what it looks like on your face. And then when you decide, like, that app sends it to the printer, and the printer will print out that color. And then that part of the printer detaches, so you can throw it in your purse or your bag and take it with you. And you just apply it with, like, a lip brush. What is this sorcery? <laughs> I'm that like, sounds awesome. Is it but probably super expensive, I'm guessing. Yeah, I wonder if it's like um PR or if they actually have it. Right. We'll be right back. Okay, I just showed her Kelly's reel. I'll have it posted down below. But <laughs> of course, it's a hundred and seventy 
$8. So, I mean, it's a little bit of an investment, but I guess if you have that money to just, like... I guess it would depend, too, like, how much you get out of it. Like, that's true. Like, how many uses with the cartridges or whatever. But that is really cool. It has two complimentary cartilage sets that come with it. And then if you want additional ones, I believe I saw it's $89 to get those oh you can buy like trios for $89 yeah. and then you can pick like what color tones you want them to be ah focus 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 there we go so you can pick like what color tones you want like whether you want like nude pink orange or red so from her clip it looks like it would probably last a long time because it seems like it doesn't it prints out like a ton it's not like it prints like a whole tube or whatever so maybe like a tenth of a tube right or maybe even less because it's coming from three to make one color yeah i mean if you got like close to three hundred dollars <laughs> that you're just like what do i do with this money today i say go for it right <laughs> i'd do it <laughs> But if you're, like, trying to save $300 for it, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it depends on, like, it could be, like, a cool party trick. Like, <laughs> do you guys want to make a love stick together? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Love it. All right, so that was all of our favorites. Yeah. Plus, plus yeah. some. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> the extra's free of charge. Don't worry. <laughs> We've been wanting to film a video together for years. Yes. Every time, because we, we get together a few times a year, um, sometimes more than others, but every single time we're like, let's film a video together. But then we like, we always go to Target when we're together, <laughs> so we of course did that today. Um, but we usually get to the end of the night where we're like, let's not. <laughs> yeah, or just realize like we just run out of time or whatever, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So excited, we finally got to do it. <laughs> I was telling one of my clients, she was like, what are you doing this weekend? I was like, well, my bestie Danny's coming to town. We've been friends since high school. I was like, we've literally been having slumber parties since high school. Like, sophomore year. Well, I think yes. you were junior year. Yeah. Or maybe I was a freshman. I think you were a freshman. freshman. I was sophomore. I'm pretty sure. So, I, we don't need to math it out. <laughs> but we've been slumbering for a yeah. long time. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> and now we just drag our husbands and babies and <laughs> right we're like y'all got video games we got business to take care of <laughs> although i was thinking about oh i think about this all the time so the house she lived in in high school is an old farmhouse and i remember after a long time of slumber parties there she's like you know my house is haunted right <gasps> no missed that totally missed that and now I don't want to come over. Right. <laughs> and then she was like, you know, um, this house is really old. And back then when people passed away, they would bury them with the people with their, their love, like their items. And it's normal now that dogs will like find them or they'll bark at ghosts. So then we'd be up all night. Well, I would be up all night listening to her dog barking outside. And I was like, it's barking at a ghost. I don't even remember telling I you do. That. Her dog was barking at a ghost every night. <laughs> at least I thought. Maybe not. It could have been a squirrel or something, but in my mind, it was barking at a ghost all night long. That's so funny. I don't remember that conversation. Well, she had a huge... That, her bedroom there was huge. What What was it lined with? Your walls? <laughs> it was lined with... to turn it down from 11 to maybe about a 7. Go to 15? Oh! <laughs> Jared just wants to be a part of this. He wants to talk about his favorite. He's spicy tonight. <laughs> he's had too much caffeine, so he's like... Um, yes, my old bedroom was lined wall to wall, top to bottom, with Hanson posters. No space was missing, guys. No, no space. It just Hanson. Just Hanson. No NSYNC, no BSB. Just the, the fact that she found that many posters was incredible because this room was huge. It wasn't like a typical. It, it was the master bedroom. Oh, of is the that house. what it was? Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. 
Yeah, I have the biggest bedroom and okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, covered. I remember. Well, she told me she liked Tansen before I ever went over there, but I remember going over there like, oh, oh, you like you <laughs> like Hanson. <laughs> And we never like judged each other for anything, so I was just like, that's just what she does. That's who she likes. <laughs> Which you've seen them live a lot. I have multiple times, but I actually, it's funny that we're talking about this because it was just a day or two ago that my husband was talking to one of my other friends and he, we were talking about corn coming to Fort Wayne. Oh, Taylor, really? Which is his favorite. And he was like, he said something like, oh, I guess they're my favorite. Like, yeah, like, like Hanson, if Hanson's Danielle's favorite, they're my favorite, or something like that. And I was like, they're not my favorite anymore. <gasps> when did this happen? <laughs> I don't really know. It's just, it's just died down and changed over the years, especially because like one of the concerts years ago, um, if you know or have followed Hanson at all, like um they did for a while they were doing the walks yeah so was, that's how i heard about tom's yeah the shoes yeah because so their walks. yeah it was back when yeah they were um partnering with tom's or whatever and so this was a long we're not doing math but this was a long time ago <laughs> before tom's were popular i learned about them from her <laughs> um so they were doing these walks in the cities that they were having the concerts and you could walk with them and i just had a I was it was amazing because they're like right there and you're like oh my god and you can talk to them and try to take pictures and stuff but um yeah it wasn't the greatest experience I uh I was so nervous I wanted like to talk to Taylor or have a picture with him because he was always my favorite um but I was pretty much too nervous I feel like we got up by him at one point I don't remember I don't feel like I said anything to him one of my friends might have but um but I had written them <laughs> a letter oh my gosh <laughs> this was probably what 10 years ago so this wasn't high school this was like college <laughs> um but I had just written them a letter just about expressing my appreciation for them and their music and everything and um and wanted to give it to them and I, we got up next to Zach and we're talking to him and I was like, hey, we asked for a picture and he was like, oh, well, you know, like if we do pictures and it turns into just this big picture taking thing and it's not really about the walk anymore. What? And I was like, oh, okay, well, can I give you this letter then? And he was just like, sure. <gasps> and was visibly annoyed about accepting this letter. He had like, he was carrying like a gift bag or two or whatever that he had gotten from other people. Like, oh my God, so sorry to add in a letter to your oh. load. That's literally a letter in an envelope. <laughs> that's heartbreaking. Cause it's one thing if they like, it were on the street and you saw him and that right. was his reaction. But you're at one of his PR events for his concert and that's how he's yeah. acting. And then, Oh, gosh. proceeded to take a picture with somebody else afterwards. I don't know if he was just annoyed with telling people no and was like, fine, whatever. They I broke him know. down. I don't know. I don't know. But it just, That's heartbreaking. It just left, a, left a salty taste in my mouth. I don't blame you. I'd be upset too. <sighs> Taylor did tell me he liked my shirt that I made though. It's not enough, Taylor. <laughs> it was too late or too early. I don't know, but it was ruined. Too little too <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So I don't know. I still like them, but it's just not the same. Like, I don't own all the CDs even. Uh -huh. Like, I used to be all about, it came out, I'm buying it. <laughs> it's mine. Uh, now, I like Taylor Swift a lot more than I like Hanson. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I'm a Swifty by association. I don't personally love her that much, but Danny does, and my other best friend Chelsea does. So I gotta stay in the loop for y'all. <laughs> we appreciate it. <that. laughs> You know, okay, that reminded me of the letter. So when we were in high school, we went to see, who was the band? The boy O-Town. O-Town. And we made posters. And we were like, okay, we got to let them know who we are in case they find the poster. Do you remember that? <laughs> and then we lost it. We don't know where it went. We probably just dropped it and it <laughs> fell through the bleachers. But in our minds, we're like, they found it. I think <laughs> I think it was at the fair. Yeah, it was. Yeah. We had our tube tops with our overalls. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. 
<laughs> with our posters ready for them to find us and tell us how much they loved us. I remember his stepdad driving us there. I bet in his mind at that time, he was like, oh my God. He's <laughs> like, these, these girls. Because <laughs> for us, that was like the best thing happening to us. Yes. <laughs> but to him, he was, he was very nice about it. He never complained. But I'm sure now that we're like close to what his age was then, was, I can imagine what his mind was thinking at this point. <laughs> The good old days, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're all good days. Yes. Really. I mean, one day we'll be like, do you remember when we did that YouTube video and we told them embarrassing stories about ourselves? <laughs> and told the truth about Taylor. <laughs> Zach. But yes. Zach? Taylor Hanson or yeah. Taylor Swift? <laughs> Hanson. <laughs> yes, Zach was the rude one, not Z Taylor. Okay, Zach. <laughs> Zach, we got your number, and we're deleting it. <laughs> Guys, we haven't even really had that much to drink. Right well, she don't really drink, so two sips yeah. in, she's like, thank you. <laughs> I'm drunk off Abby. <laughs> the best kind. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm glad we got this video done. Yes. So I hope fun. you guys enjoy it. Enjoy it. Well, a lot of the people who watch are like our age or close to, so I hope you guys felt it. <laughs> we, uh oh. Got a baby. Oh, okay, we gotta go. Bye, guys. Yeah, Morty said he's up next with the next collab. What are we gonna talk about, Morty? He's like, well, I'm gonna talk about <laughs> y'all. We're telling everyone I bark a lot. Mm -hmm.